And here she is. What's going on, Joe? Nothing much. How was school? Eh. Eh? Why? Why was it? Why was it eh? Because why? You don't know? Can you just drive faster? <laughs> How was volleyball? Good. You like volleyball? Yeah. Don't you already know that? Oh, someone is crabby today. What was wrong with uh, school? Yeah. Did, like school isn't all fun. Did you have a bad day? Well, why are you being so crabby? Cool. Nothing good about it at all? Yeah, volleyball and gym and computers, that's it. Volleyball, lunch. gym, lunch. And computers. Computers, okay, okay. Okay, we're going somewhere now. Computers. Why, why was computers fun? Okay, can you stop? <laughs> Well, I am here, and by the looks of it, the ground is really, really hard. It just doesn't even look like it rains, so... I'll go check it out. Well, that's it. I struck out. I saw a few mole tunnels. There are probably at least three moles on the property, but the ground is just way too dry. It's just not time yet. Okay, what's up? I'm barely up. It's like 8.30 in the morning. And I'm going to go back to this church here. And check for moles. I know it's kind of dry out. It's, I just want to check. So I get here and I see this hawk. I don't know what kind of hawk it is. But he was on the ground, now he just flew into the tree. But he's after something. Okay, I couldn't get the hawk on the camera, but he was chasing two squirrels. Okay, I stopped off at another location to look for moles. Um, it's my old neighbor. I used to live next door to him. And um, I just got here. And I am seeing a little bit of activity. And it looks pretty fresh. But I don't see any mole moving in the tunnel. But I'm going to go ahead and step on that. And keep walking around. Checking it out. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll catch a mole. that haven't caught a mole in a couple months seems that way and I missed him I missed him the ground was pretty hard and his tunnel 
was actually at like a 45 degree angle. So he wasn't just crawling above or just under the surface. He, he escaped. That's my excuse. Dang. I may have missed them all, but look what I just found. What are you doing, brother? How's it going? Oh, are you shy? Come on. Come on. Oh, bright and early. I'm like determined to get a mole. Even though we need rain. We will see. Okay, this is the closest I've gotten to new mole activity in a long time. It seems pretty fresh, but I do not see anything moving. Oh, man. So I'm going to step on it. Check it later today, I guess. Okay, I've been sitting in my car for about five, ten minutes. Oh, I have this allergy problem, you know. It's fall, the air is getting cooler. I'm getting fall allergies. My eyes are, my eyes are the worst part. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of my car. I'm going to go check on that area I stepped on. And uh, if, if the mole didn't come back, I'm just going to go home. But, I'm ready. Okay, I'm an idiot. I just locked, I just locked my keys in my car with my phone. So I had to go up to this groundskeeper here. He let me use his phone. And uh, I think my wife is going to come pick me up. But we do not know if I have a spare key. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Gosh. Okay, I'm back in my car. Uh, my wife came and picked me up and I found a spare key in the kitchen. It was the last key that I picked up. Took a while to find it, but I back in my car. And but no moles are moving, so <clears throat> bad morning. That's all I can say. And do I dare say that my wife was not happy to come pick me up? Oh my gosh, this is my third time up here this morning, and I wasn't coming back, but I decided to try it one more time. I see the mole moving, but that doesn't mean anything with this yard. I mean, they just come up in little spurts, and then they go back down. They're never, like, committed to a long tunnel. But anyway, I'm going to try to get him. So, let me get my stuff. like he's nice and healthy too so I didn't hurt him good deal oh my goodness I've been after this mole for the longest time okay so I'm gonna try to sum this up here I'm at this church here close to my house I'm in Missouri it hasn't rained forever we're kind of in a drought and it's been really, really, really difficult to 
catch moles, they, uh, they kind of stay underground. I think there's more uh, moisture underground. But uh, we did have like a downpour, let's see, a couple days ago for about 10 minutes. And then I started noticing a little bit of movement here at the church. And uh, well, anyway, I finally, finally got them today. My third time back. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the first mole I caught. I almost want to say in a, in a couple months. But, all right, good. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep this mole for my little, uh, my research project. I might just relocate them because um, I need to catch moles. I need to catch like 10 moles as fast as I can. And I don't want to hang on to a little guy and stress him out for weeks before I can catch another mole. But we will see. All right, buddy. Okay, buddy. All right. All right. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. All right, this mole catch deserves some celebration music. All right, and guess where I am headed? I'm headed to my mom and dad's house. I'm, I'm painting their shed, right? So, that's right. I'm gonna shove this mole in my mom's face and scare the heck out of her. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, woo! Okay, here we go. On your leg. Stop! Go scare Dad with it. Uh, Matt, where did you get You're him? not scared anymore. Where did you get him at? I got him up at that church. Finally. Well, All right, why I mean, I told you. Okay, I'm gonna give this little guy some dirt here. And covering the mole with dirt will help uh, help it not be stressed out. It'll feel more comfortable and safe. Um, I'm gonna do that while I paint the shed here. 